The first step is importing the form components palette. Open, import. Good. The fastest way to create a form is by using the form example. There's a form and now you can go ahead and modify that to suit your needs. But we're going we're not going to use this. We are going to create a form from scratch. We're going to use a form container. All other form components go inside a form container. A form container is a regular container, but it has two custom properties. You can see them right here. The table name is the table that you're going to be inserting rows and updating rows. The data source is the ignition data source that is used to access a database. If we leave this blank, then this will use the default data source of the project. Let's create a form. All right, so I've created a form drop-down list. You can see it has two custom properties. One is column. This is going to be the column in the database that this input form component will affect. Is valid is whether or not the input is valid. Here's a label component, and I'm just changing the text here to show the purpose of what we're using this drop-down for and I can act, change the data inside this dropdown. As you can see, all the components inside this form dropdown list can be accessed and modified. I'm inputting the data here manually, but a database query could also be used. Here's a text field. Let's use another text field, form text field. Okay, this one will be for the column called first name. All right, so you can see in here the form text field has three components inside it. The label for providing a description of what the text field is for, the tech, uh, text field component for getting the user input, and an invalid message label component. This is for displaying a user input validation error and just right now um, nothing affects whether or not input data is valid or not, so we're going to change that. I'm going I click this, I'm going to right click, go to scripting, and in the scripting here you can see that this component has a validate input custom function, custom method. And here we have some code commented out that validates whether or not any input is entered and we're going to uncomment this because we want to make this a required field meaning someone has to, we're requiring someone to enter something in there of course this this method could be other functionality could easily be added to it and we'll do the same thing for the last name we want to make that one required as well okay good now let's add a numerical numeric text field for age. How old is someone? 
Good. Now let's end. Let's add some form radio buttons. Good. Let's add a description. Good, now let's line these up together. Good, let's add a submit button. Good, now we have a form. Now let's add a table so that when data is entered via the form, we can see a display of what's in the database table. So we're going to add a form table here. Good, now I'm going to add a database query to this form so that we can get the data from the database table to see what's in there and also the data that's retrieved by this database query will be used to populate the form components on the right here. You will see how this works. All right, let's not do any polling on it. Good, uh, there you can see there's data in there already. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Uh, you can see on this form table that there is a custom property that specifies the name of the column in the database table that is the primary key column. All right, so I've saved this now. Let's look, see what this looks like in the client. All right, there it is. So if I click on one of these columns, we see that it gets populated on the right here. And I can change something. So right now the age is 34. I can change this to 35, update, and it's updated here. All right, let's add a new one. Uh, Mr. and he'll say he's 23 and it's male and we'll just say test and we submit. Oh, and I did not submit because we have first name which required and last name is required. So let's say something here. Joe uh, Kent. Submit. All right, there he is, Joe Kent. And I can click on here. Oh, I can delete him here if I want to. And this is a demo that is complete.